Okay, hi y'all. This is a car a carryover, I don't know, from my planner haul. I just wanted you guys to see the finished products as I got them done at a sharp at a printing place here in town. I don't need that. They just needed that to know where to punch the holes. But okay, so I asked them to bind this, so they did, and they put it in a black plastic binder which honestly, I think it looks really nice and I am fine with it. So now I have my meals, my sales, my blog, my notes, and my checklists all in this binder. So I can kind of leave this here and um, here being home and I don't have to really take it with me anywhere, but like I can write down my meals that I want to have. And I think I'm gonna start this in July. So I'm kind of excited about it because it's going to be started right away. Um, by the time you guys see this, I might have already actually started it, but um, yeah, I'm kind of excited about this, and I'm hopefully going to be able to post this on the same day that I post my uh, my haul of the whole thing so that you can see them all together. So then I asked them to please punch holes in this, and they did, and it looks like they wrapped it up nicely. The holes look really small, though. Oh, hopefully it'll fit. I'm sure it will. So, I'm not going to go into my story about why I needed this again, but you all know if you saw my first one. So, where is my planner? I don't even know where my planner is right this minute. I think it's in the other room. Um, but I'm going to just show you like where they did the punches. So, it's kind of close to the edge here. And they actually said that they couldn't get any closer. This was as far away as they could go. But I'm afraid this is going to stick out of my Kiki K a little bit when I like have it closed. So let me go get it real quick. And I don't know that that's going to bug me too much. Um, especially having had them do the holes for me. I really appreciate that. So let me get my binder. I have it. Sorry, I was. I took it to work today as per usual. And I left it over by my. I keep it in a little bag. I think my husband's going to be coming in really soon, so I might have to pause this again. Okay, I think we're clear. Um, so this is my planner. So I have everything in here for the whole first part of the year. And so now it's getting to be July. And of course I'm out of my pages. So let's stick one of these in here and see how it looks. I'll just stick this whole month's worth. The holes fit perfectly. It does stick out further than the rest. See, look, by quite a bit, but it doesn't cut into anything, so that's kind of nice. And I could even use that to put some washi, which is also kind of nice. Um, so let's see how it. See, this is the thing that I was worried about. Uh, it's like sticking out so far here that I don't know that I could. I can, but see how it bends the paper. I don't know, maybe with a ton of it in there, it won't be so bad. I don't know, but we shall see. I think that I'm just gonna have to deal with it this time. I trimmed it the last time and cut it myself, and I trimmed it too much, which is why it's into the stuff. But if you trim it too less, it's going to be a problem too. So I don't know. I'm just going to deal with it and see how it works. Um, so I just kind of wanted to follow up so that you guys could see my final product. And you can see a little bit how the pages are different. Let's go from this one to this one. So yeah, this is like a week if I did it this way. See how they're so different? This has the the uh, family planner. This is not. This is not. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to like it. And we're going to start the rest of the year off like this. Okay, thanks again. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.
I'm sorry I keep ending the video and then I'm not quite done yet because I wanted you to see it. So if it's open like this, I think it looks great. I have two Julys in here right now still. But look at how much different it is. And when I close it, look at this. Oh my word. There's no way I'm getting that closed. Even if I bent this totally, I don't even think I could close it. So I'm going to have to figure something out. Right now I'm kind of thinking, I wonder if I can like maneuver this so it's underneath my pen or something like that so it doesn't even like pop up somehow like, I don't know, without cutting it off. I don't want to cut it off, but I think I'm going to have to leave it opened and not snapped because there's no way I can snap this. Oh, the hardships of being a planner and being picky and not when a coil bound planner and this is all of the pages in here too so I don't know what I'm thinking I wonder if I did it coil bound if I really would hate it or if I wouldn't mind it or or how I would feel about it if I just did the calendar with none of the extras this is half the year so the other half of the year would be just as thick I don't know, I guess something else to think about because I don't know that I like it this way. <laughs> I'm whining, I'm whining. And then the extra stuff at the back, the home, the notes. See, I like having notes and stuff in here. Yeah, I like having all this stuff in here. I don't know, these are just the things I have to figure out what I wanna do. Um, because I take it everywhere, which I really like to do. I mean, the only thing I'm thinking right now is if I didn't take it with me and just left it here, I could leave it open. There's a hair in there. But um, that kind of defeats the purpose, too. Huh, there's no perfect solution. Unless I trim it again and do my pages. Even if I did it a quarter of an inch... And then maybe have them repunch it. Like have them punch right next to the thing. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it today. I'm not going to worry about it for a little bit. I'm just going to deal with it for at least a week and see what I can do. That's my thought right now. Okay. Well, thank you again. I just wanted you to see what was going on. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.